Hi, I'm Margie with Full Motion Education, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you where to place tape on yourself for lower extremity exercises. And the purpose of putting tape on yourself is twofold. One, if you choose to send me videos for me to check your form in the exercises, it helps me immensely if you have placed the tape on your body so that I can actually see what your bones are doing. Two, when you're practicing your exercises, you'll hear me say over and over and over and over, I think it's a really good idea to purchase a full length mirror, even if you get a little cheap one that you can move around, and to practice your exercises in front of a full length mirror. Specificity is everything in this body of work. And the dots that I'm, the tape that I'm going to tell you where to place on yourself will help you see when you're checking yourself in the mirror. Because in when I teach the exercises, I will be cueing you to watch for or look for. The dots will make it easier for you to see what I'm cueing. So again, lower extremity. The first dot is below the knee, right below the kneecap, kind of in the middle, is a bump. So if you kind of slide your finger below the kneecap, you'll feel a very definite bump. You can't miss it. It's sort of in the middle of the kneecap. Technically called the tibial tuberosity. Place one of your dots on that bump. The second dot is going to go at the bottom of the tibia. So this, or shin bone, this is the top. We're going to place one at the bottom. And what I want you to see is that the bone, the tibial bone, has a sort of a, a sharp ridge, really, that's quite easy to find. So we're going to find it. So from my tub tibial tuberosity, or that bump where the first dot is, you're now on the ridge. And if you sort of take your fingers, like you're pinching something, find that ridge. It's a sharp, very definite ridge. And slide your fingers down towards your ankle. And just say, okay, am I still on the bone? Am I, I'm on the bone. I'm definitely on the bone. And you get close to your ankle, it gets kind of confusing because all of a sudden there's all these tendons and tendons sort of feel like bone. So you just go as far as you can with total clarity that you're still on the bone. So somewhere above the ankle, you'll place your second dot. Bone, 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 I'm on the bone. That is not a tendon. Your third dot, basically, directly above the dot on your tibial tuberosity, somewhere on your thigh, and this tape can go over your clothing. Masking tape works just fine over your clothing. It really helps if you're wearing tight clothing if you want to send me videos to check your form. And I'm kind of just placing it as best I can directly above the tibial tuberosity. And then we're gonna place three on the side of your body. For some of the exercises, I will need to see your side profile. The first one's really easy. It's sometimes called the ankle bone, technically called the lateral malleolus, that big bump that sticks out around your ankle. And then below the knee on the side is sort of another bump and by the way, uh, this is your fibula, the bone on the outside of your lower leg. So this is the bottom of the fibula, the bump down there. And now we're going to place one at the top of the fibula. Really all I care is that it's below the knee joint, which is pretty easy to find. And you can be kind of close to that bump, that'd be great. Doesn't have to be exact. And the final one is just kind of slide down the side of your pelvis till you think you're on your thigh bone. Uh, you don't have to go very far. If you can find it, you'll slide down and find a little bump that sticks out just a little bit. It doesn't really stick out very far. But anyway, anywhere on the top of the side of your thigh bone is good enough for me. And we will place our final dot at the top of the thigh on the side. 